Welcome to this presentation on hazard vulnerability assessment for public health emergencies and disasters. I'm Dan Barnett, and this is part of the program on occupational health and safety education on emerging technologies, Mid-Atlantic Partnership, or Pocket Map for short. Let's begin by defining what is hazard vulnerability assessment, or HVA. An HVA is a systematic approach, and that's a key aspect of this definition. It's systematic to identifying all hazards that could affect an organization, assessing the risk attached to those hazards, and analyzing findings of the assessment to create a prioritized comparison of hazard vulnerabilities. Now, that was a pretty lengthy definition, so let's unpack it in terms of its constituent elements. Sub-definitions of HVA components include the word hazard, which is defined here as something that's potentially dangerous or harmful, often the root cause of an unwanted outcome. Vulnerability, which means the characteristics and circumstances of a community system or asset that make it susceptible to the damaging effects of a hazard. And risk, which is the likelihood of a hazard to actually cause harm or damage under defined circumstances. So why are HVAs necessary? Let's discuss that in more depth. So HVAs identify potential emergencies that could affect the need for services and importantly could influence the ability to provide those services in coordination with community emergency management planning. So HVAs are essential as part of the planning process for public health and other emergencies and disasters. Specifically in that regard, HVAs provide the organization or community that's conducting them with a common understanding about the hazard risks that it faces, and HVAs help prioritize issues for emergency and disaster planning. Prioritization is absolutely critical because there are a myriad of potential hazards that one may need to prepare for, but we need to prioritize those that are most likely to impact a given organization and or jurisdiction. HVAs importantly serve as the foundation for mitigation and preparedness activities. We want to obviously conduct HVAs, in other words, in advance of an event occurring. So let's delve into who actually conducts HVAs. Some of the stakeholders include hospitals and healthcare systems, public health systems, and federal agencies, such as in the United States, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA. 